Northwest Association of Networked Ocean Observing Systems, or NANUS, is designed to deliver data and information products about the coastal ocean, its estuaries and shorelines. We are a regional association of the U.S. Integrated Ocean Observing System, primarily funded by NOAA. Hello, I'm Jan Newton, the Executive Director of NANUS. Over 20 years, we have built NANUS with significant input from the region to serve the citizenry of the Pacific Northwest. We have integrated ocean observing assets, data management systems, and models in order to yield information, information products that diverse coastal communities can use in order to ensure their safety, to build economic resilience, and to increase the understanding of the coastal ocean. So as we reflect on 20 years, we wanted to tell Nanus's story, not just by us, its staff, but by all the varied people who make up Nanus, our partners and the folks who use our products. We want you to hear their voices. What does Nanus mean to us? In a nutshell, NANUS gives us the opportunity to be bigger than the sum of its parts. Being a part of NANUS provides context of how our Puget Sound and Coastal Bay monitoring data fits in with West Coast processes and other monitoring programs. Some of these other monitoring programs go beyond Washington's borders, giving us information and opportunities for collaborations that we would otherwise not get. A big thanks from us to NANUS for your support. EVCNB, or the Emergency Volunteer Corps, is a nonprofit organization that's dedicated to providing methodologies for resilience and focusing on emergency preparedness. When people in our area could be displaced for any number of reasons, it's important that they go to a site that provides them safe haven. And this particular site we're on right now is a park in the city of Nehalem and it is a designated assembly site. So by using this site, we're bettering our preparedness. And I can't thank NANUS enough for their tsunami mapping and their evacuation routes that they provided to us. Without those, we'd be a step behind. So thank you to Dr. Allen and NANUS and- Thank, thank you, NANUS. I'm an avid user of the data that NANU shares, and I'm especially proud of some of the products that we've developed over the years, not least of which is the Tsunami app, uh, both smartphone and web app, uh, that allows access to critical hazard information about tsunami inundation zones along both the Oregon and Washington coast. And of course, we're very proud of the fact that uh, folks can actually get access to uh, real-time route information on the fly uh, and this is extremely useful for helping uh, emergency managers, the public and uh, folks at large uh, to get access to this important information and to make obviously plans, appropriate plans as they travel and, and uh, recreate along the Oregon and Washington coast. So uh, definitely kudos to Nanus for the wonderful products that they've generated over the years and congratulations on 20 years of uh, NANUS. I've been out here working for Quinault for 24 years. When I started back way back then, there was little to no ocean data that we needed really badly to help manage and sustain the treaty resources of the Quinault Nation. 20 years ago, NANUS came on the scene, the Northwest Association of Networked Ocean Observing Systems. And since that time, I've watched a black hole of data become something that was rich. And it was NANUS that helped us get that data, delivered it to us, and helped us set up networks with individuals and other PIs within the NANUS family that we've since collaborated with to develop more and better ways of getting ocean data to help the Quinault Nation uh, sustain its ocean resources into the future. Our focus is on early warning of harmful algal blooms. And by collecting samples in these simulation vials and looking at them under the microscope, we know whether or not harmful phytoplankton that can affect coastal shellfish are present in the water samples. NANUS has helped us expand our capabilities here. 
So this microplate reader was purchased with NANU's funds and also this plate washer. They allow us to test for the toxins that the phytoplankton are producing and we're testing for those toxins in seawater samples that are collected by our partners, which include the macaw, the hoe, the quinault, and the quileute tribes. My recent graduate student did her master's degree using data from the Washington coastal moorings that Nanus maintains. And she was really lucky we um, connected with John Mickett and she started working on using data from these moorings and was working on questions of looking at nutrient transport on the shelf and looking at upwelling and, and internal waves. We just benefited so much from Nanus and these data sets and working with the scientists in Nanus. And I just want to, you know, explain that having data available and then having us, you know, being able to come in and look at real questions in the ocean with all the observational data is a truly valuable thing for academics like us. What does NANUS mean to me? I think it comes down to three things, and that is incredibly beautiful, valuable places, amazing people, and amazing and inspiring synergy. Most of different parameters, including chlorophyll and all. I'm just so fortunate to be able to go out in the field uh, quite often and get to see these amazing places. Uh, second, the people. I work with an amazing team and have for the duration of my career at APL and just so fortunate for these people and and our external collaborators and inspired by their commitment and and what they bring um, to the organization. And lastly, the synergy. I always am thrilled to see all these efforts come together, just this, this sense of collaboration and, and almost selflessness. Um, to a greater cause uh, comes together, and that, that is so inspiring to me. Congrats to Nanus and all we've done together the last 20 years. I'm the guy that flies these gliders off the Washington coast. 20 years with Nanus, it's amazing. It really shows that the idea was sound, the idea to take measurements of the ocean and work together, pull everything together so we can keep our eyes on what's going on out there. We've got the right system in place, the right people, um, great support, appreciate all the leadership, and maybe one of the coolest things is how we've really pulled together that network of ocean observations. So congrats to all, and here's for, to another 20 years. Nanus, and especially I'm talking about the Nanus NVS, the Nanus Visualization System, is an extraordinary resource for our region. It brings together this huge range of real-time observations and climatologies that they've assembled, and also models the waters around here. For me, as the developer of the Live Ocean Daily Forecast model, Nanus is this platform that allows me to freely share the model output, the three-day forecasts we make, and all sorts of different layers of it, and then also compare them directly with observations, real-time observations, and it gets it out to the public in a way that I never could do myself. Critvic works to support the four treaty tribes of the Columbia River and to put fish back in the rivers. CMOP was a founding member of NANUS, and we've worked together for 20 years to build a strong observation and prediction program for the region. CMOP program worked with the tribes for many years to use our observations and models to support salmon ecology, and three years ago, under the leadership of Critvic's former executive director, Jamie Pinkham, Critvic took leadership of CMOP, recognizing the importance of sustaining our work and extending the reach of the four tribes in the estuary and ocean. More recently, under executive director Asia Dakota, Critvic joined NANUS and took a seat on the EC, recognizing the importance of NANUS for this work in the past and into the future. So NANUS definitely helps people make decisions and better understand the marine environment. We also educate the public and are developing the next generation of ocean scientists. As a professor, I've been using um, NANUS data in a, one class in particular, the Salish Sea Oceanography course at Western, which is a 400 level capstone class for seniors. And I use um, observation abs assets in various ways. Students bring them in for projects and we use them in um, class lessons. And in particular, I've been working with Parker McCready to get hindcast data from his live, live ocean model. 
and work on lessons on that and the students do projects or they do a lot of research looking um, at time series. We use Nanus data all the time in that class and it's just a spectacular resource for uh, the teaching environment and for students to do independent research. So thank you again. I was part of the first intern cohort in 2022 last summer and Nanus to me in my 10, 11 weeks of working with them was nothing short of incredible. People every day try to contribute to community, but then also try to answer the ocean's most difficult, but also most engaging questions. I'm the current ocean certification intern with Washington Ocean Certification Center. And uh, in my internship, I've worked with doing pH analysis, chlorophyll analysis, and I've also had the opportunity to connect with a lot of people within Nanus, which has been extremely cool, as well as getting the opportunity to go out on a research vessel and take oxygen samples. I was an intern with the Washington Ocean Certification Center in Nanus last summer in 2022. I did a project calibrating pH sensors on the orca buoys. I really enjoyed getting connected with the broader Nanus community, as well as having opportunities for field work through BOAC. We host a biannual webinar that is um, sharing the updates on monitoring and data collection around Puget Sound and the Washington coast. They're called Marine Condition Updates. NANUS is a great contributor to those meetings. We always start the presentation with data from NANUS and then folks can look for trends, look for where their data is consistent or maybe inconsistent with what others are showing or what the NANUS data shows. And it really leads to some rich discussions about what's happening, what the trends are that we're seeing short term and what we might look for long term. NANUS has really been a, a valuable partner in this effort to raise awareness about ocean and coastal issues uh, with the ocean recreational user community. A few years ago, we collaborated to develop a, a beach user and a surfer app uh, so that folks had information uh, on water quality monitoring as well as swell, tide, wind, and wave conditions uh, so that they can make an informed and safe decisions on where and when they recreate. I've been with Nanus for almost 10 years. I've done a lot of different things, but one of my favorite parts of my job is that I get to actually go and engage with the community. I travel this beautiful region. I attend different trade shows, conferences, meetings, and I get to give both formal and informal demonstrations to specific user groups. So I get to actually talk to people. I teach them a little bit about NBS, uh, maybe how to use it or some of the new capabilities and features. But then I also get to learn a lot about their needs. What do they want out of a data system? Uh, what kind of data do they need and how do they want to interact with it? Thank you to all of you that helped us use your NBS tuna fishers and anus information to help us with our salmon fishing. Uh, just like the tuna, they like particular water conditions, so do the salmon. And by changing the temperature range so that we can locate that 52 degree water that the salmon like, uh, that helps us a lot. Nanny's has strong ties to industry and together we are crafting new innovations. I'm here in beautiful Commencement Bay in Tacoma, Washington. I'm on the executive committee of NANUS, and I also represent RBR. On behalf of everyone at RBR, congratulations on 20 years of ocean observing. We are pleased to support these efforts with instrumentation such as these, CTDs for autonomous vehicles, optical sensors for biological and geochemical studies. Congratulations on the last 20 years, and we look forward to supporting you into the future. In the future, what I'd love to see is for NANUS to keep doing the things it does so well, this, this bringing together of data from many different sources, including the ones that the, the model output that I create, but making them even more relevant to our stakeholders. I want to say congratulations to Nanus on an incredible 20 years. Um, your products are immensely valuable and uh, critical to uh, the communities of the Pacific Northwest, not least of which in terms of keeping them safe. All of our moorings have just about the same hardware, very similar output format. They're all measuring at about the same time, and we have a hard time keeping up with all the data coming in. So I can't even imagine what it's like at Nanus. 
Um, I, I just think it's incredible. You're really taking it to the next level and it's such a valuable resource for the region. So happy anniversary, Nanus rocks. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much to Nanus and to Jan for all of your amazing leadership over the last 20 years. It's really been a pleasure to participate in this group and keep on keeping on doing the great work that you do. I want to congratulate all of Nanus for the amazing work that has been accomplished over the past 20 years. Ultimately, it's the uses of Nanus data uh, that matter. And Nanus has always led the way in working collectively with operators, scientists, educators, tribal, federal, state, and local governments, as well as industry and nonprofit organizations and the public to deliver data, products, and services that are impactful for our region. Each year over the past 20-year uh, history, the support for Nanus has grown, and I'm very proud and honored to be a part of Nanus. A tremendous accomplishment indeed. While the challenges we face over the next decade are complex and critical for our region, I know these will always be faced with the same community spirit and passion that is Nanus. Thank you. We are so proud of what Nanus has accomplished and grateful for all of the people involved along the way. Now, and especially as we look into the future, we are energized by new faces in our growing community of users. We are motivated to address evolving ocean information needs and we are driven to make a difference in the everyday lives of Pacific Northwest residents.